Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens lifted the ban on no-fault evictions. As a direct consequence, I myself, like many others, got evicted from our homes. In these elections, we have a chance to evict Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens. I want to fight for a state construction company to build public homes on public land. I want the City Council to directly employ more people to bring vacant houses like these back into use as homes and to carry out maintenance on existing council houses and retrofitting to make our homes more energy efficient. Galway is a student city, but with rents rising, many people of my generation are forced to pay the price, being entirely locked out of opportunity. It's vital that we fight back against the landlord parties of Fine Gael and Fine Fall and join people-powered campaigns and fight back against evictions and against landlordism. Galway City's average rents rose by 6.1% in the fourth quarter of 2023. This is one of the highest rise of rents for any city in Ireland. In a supposed rent pressure zone, landlords are allowed to fleece us with extortionate rents. As a people before a profit candidate, I want to tackle the scourge of vacancy and dereliction that has plagued this town over the last few decades. We need the council to CPO old properties and bring them back into use for the public good. It is crucial in our fight against climate change that there's a drastic shift from car transport to public transport. We need fare free, frequent and green public transport throughout the city. And we need to be adding more routes and not removing them like they're trying to do in my community here in Merview. Two years on from the rejection of the Salt Hill Cycleway, we still don't have safe cycling infrastructure here at the Promenade. We need to get serious about the alternative ways we can use our roads for our health and the health of our environment. People Before Profit have been heavily involved in Palestine solidarity activism for many years. If elected, I would use that platform to fight to make Galway City an apartheid-free zone. Ordinary people have immense potential to change things. If I'm in there, I will fight alongside you, with you, for the things that we need. If elected, I will continue to dedicate my time to fighting for affordable housing, adequate public transport, and creating a future that the young people of Galway deserve. If elected, I will use my position on the council to platform people-powered campaigns. I see the potential balance law has, and I want to see that potential realized. But it's going to take people coming together to get that job done. Put a campaigner on the council. Vote Adrian Curran, number one. Vote Denman Rook, number one. Vote Maisie McMaster, number one. Vote Andrew Mannion, number one.